Okay, this video is meant to be a guide. Uh, once you have your uh, challenge plan completed on Eclipse and ready for submission back to the ROR website, uh, you can refer to this. Um, the process is fairly simple. Uh, when you have the completed plan up in Eclipse before submitting it or exporting it out, uh, it is helpful for the uh, validation process just to have uh, some record of what the normalization value was and the overall monitor unit. So those numbers can be helpful just for double checking and making sure that um, in the uh, software that we use to double check and, and go over the plan that things are consistent. Uh, once those values are recorded, you can email those to us at info at roresources.com, which is also on the uh, export instructions document on the website. So once you have the plan up in Eclipse and ready for export, you simply will just right mouse click on the plan, select export wizard. One of the changes that we've made recently is that we do not need the structure set or the 3D slices. The most important thing on this uh, menu here is to make sure that the total plan dose is selected and the absolute values in gray is selected. Once you have that, you can click next. You'll get you'll see this screen here with the DVH uh, export details. Uh, you, typically, the default values that are shown here are are sufficient. The DVH type being cumulative and the volume unit being absolute. You can select next. You can select any DICOM media file export wizard. We have several. It doesn't really matter as long as it's the, um, however it's named, as long as, the, as it's the DICOM media file export. Uh, it will go through the process here and assemble the, the um, required uh, files. You, you should see an RT dose file and an RT plan file. Those two are the only ones that we need now to, to verify the, um, the submitted plan. Before clicking finish, depending on where your DICOM media file export is pointing to in the, um, in the configuration, you might want to make sure that you're sending it to a place that you're going to find or that doesn't get automatically exported somewhere you don't want it. So you're going to want to select uh, change for all objects and then navigate. We recommend uh, just saving it in your documents folder. And from there you can create uh, a new folder called your name. And then double click on that folder and say open. Those files should be selected. If they're not, go ahead and hold the shift key down and select both those files or just say select all depending on what version of Eclipse you're running. And then just say finish. Uh, that will save all of the objects in that folder. And then from there you will just navigate to that documents folder and uh, zip the file up and it'll be ready for uh, importing in through the ROR website. If you have any questions, you can send us an email. Um, thank you for your time.